Hello, I'm Nicole Karkic. This is Weather Network News. A tornado warning was briefly issued for the Laval region earlier this evening. A line of severe thunderstorms moved through eastern Ontario. While tropical systems can be devastating for coastal communities, some people are able to find beauty after the storm. Shelley Steves tells us one artist's story. Thanks, Shelley. And that's a look at what's making headlines in Weather Network news. Stay tuned for your local forecast. They come up every 10 minutes on the 10s right here on the Weather Network. And if you want more details on your local forecast, head to our website, theweathernetwork.com. If you're on Twitter, did you know that you can follow many of us here at the Weather Network, including the Weather Network feeds, too? And many people ask us questions on Twitter. This one came to the Weather Network. How far inland can the most severe hurricanes come? That was one question. But the one we want to focus on now is what does the odd green color in the sky why does, it, why does the odd green color in the sky occur before severe weather? Now, looking into this, scientists don't exactly know for sure what creates the greenish yellow color. But there is a theory, and here it is. Some experts think that before a thunderstorm, golden reddish light from the sun low in the sky and a natural blurring effect in the air combine to give it that green color. But let me tell you, if you see green or blue off in the distance, it does mean that there is a thunderstorm potentially rolling through. You want to get inside, and often this color happens before a tornado touches down. Stay tuned. Travelers through southern Quebec today were dealing with very severe thunderstorms. They're still moving on through and through parts of uh, southern Quebec around Montreal. They will die down through the overnight hours. While we've seen the storms in the east, in the west, people can't stop talking about the cold temperatures. A few viewers on our Facebook accounts and Twitter accounts were saying, I turned up the heat in Saskatoon, 13 degrees today. In Thompson earlier today, we saw scattered flurries, 10 degrees. These are daytime highs into tomorrow. By Thursday, we do see a little bit of a warm-up, 20 degrees in Saskatoon, 15 for Thompson, a bigger warm-up here in Alberta. Red Deer, you'll get up to 24 degrees. But that cold front that brought down our temperatures in through the prairies is moving into Ontario. So tonight, don't be surprised if northern Ontario sees some scattered flurries. It won't stick to the ground, but you could see it off in the distance. That's cold. That's, that's time to turn up the heat. If you're driving through, you're going to have the heat crank too. We're going to start to see that cool down in through southern Ontario as we head into your Thursday. On Wednesday, we're seeing scattered showers across southern Ontario, including Toronto, Ottawa, Montreal. Showers even potentially in Atlantic Canada. Still cool for us here and through the Prairie Provinces, but as we head into Thursday, we warm up in Alberta. Calgary will get up to 23 degrees. How about that? But then we cool down in Toronto, 15 degrees on Thursday. And then for Friday, we're looking at temperatures that are still cool here, about 16 degrees in Toronto. And then we're looking at stormy weather in the east. Coming up just ahead, we'll talk about our big national stories across the country. And it's been wild weather for us in eastern Canada, particularly through parts of southern Quebec, around Montreal. Thanks for joining us for your national forecast. I'm Nicole Karkic. Gary Archibald is off for this weekend and for today. As we look ahead to the weather story across the country, we'll have details on the scattered flurries we saw today in Thompson, Manitoba, and the chance of flurries in parts of Ontario. I'll explain in a moment, but first, an update on international news. I'll explain in a moment. Here's that cold front swinging through that's still bringing thunderstorms towards parts of southern Quebec. That's where we had a tornado warning earlier today in Laval. It was dropped quickly, but things do clear out, and then we're concerned about this front pushing through, bringing us scattered showers in through southern Ontario late day Wednesday, and then on Thursday with those northwest winds, we could see some lake effect rain off the shores of Georgian Bay and Lake Huron too, and then more importantly, you're going to notice really a big cool down in town. Temperatures. So we see the warmer conditions here in the reds and yellows, but the blue, you might have guessed it, that's the cold air. Thompson earlier today saw some scattered flurries. The overnight low for tonight will be about minus one. And then you're going to notice by Thursday in Ontario, you'll see that big cool down there. Northwestern Ontario, possibly seeing some scattered flurries this evening. And speaking of scattered flurries, courtesy of that cold front. Wednesday, Toronto, 21 degrees and through the northwest. 
There's the cool air cooling down those temperatures. Single digits around Wawa, Marathon, Thunder Bay, 11 degrees for you. Now for the evening, again, we have that risk of isolated severe thunderstorms, and then they're going to push in through parts of New Brunswick. That cold front won't be as nasty for us in through the maritime provinces as it has been in Quebec, and it won't cool down our temperatures as much either. But the severe thunderstorm watch is in place, but as we head into Wednesday, Montreal clearing out a mix of sun and cloud, 20 degrees for you. Stay tuned. On Wednesday, we have this system moving through parts of Quebec and southern Ontario, so expect isolated showers. It won't really cool down our temperatures until we head into Thursday. Still cold for us across the Prairie Provinces. We're looking at highs in the low teens for Regina and Winnipeg, too. But by Thursday, we start to warm up a little bit, particularly in through Alberta. Calgary will get up to about 23 degrees, and then we're cooler here now in southern Ontario. Ottawa, Toronto, Montreal hovering around 15, 14 degrees for you. We're keeping our eye on Tropical Storm Maria. It's Thursday overnight into Friday when we could see lots of rain pushing through parts of Atlantic Canada, particularly the shore of Nova Scotia and in through the Avalon Peninsula. And those two lows could meet up feeding into one another, bringing us over 50 millimeters of rain in some parts. Still cool here in southern Ontario, but high pressures in place. We're going to see the sunshine warming up across the prairies. Friday sees showers in through southern Alberta. And then by Saturday, we're looking at fair weather in western Canada. Nice conditions here in Ontario.